if your lap times at Spa are more Mazepin than Verstappen, then watching this video will shave seconds off of your lap times. Sit back, enjoy. Tip number one, the sauce. But it's just a hairpin, right? Well, that's true. But there are absolutely loads of ways you can attack the sauce depending upon the situation you're in. But for me, personally, if you're going for one lap pace, you want to be hitting that late apex. This is turning in later and touching the apex later in the corner. This is especially effective in slower cars. The reason? You sacrifice a really short entry for an advantage that will carry from the source all the way up Eau Rouge through Radion and down the Camel Strait. It's possible to gain multiple tents if you've never done this. Tip number two. Turn 7, 8 and 9 at Le Combe at the end of the Camel Strait. Seems simple enough, which they are, but they're also a hidden gem of lap time. Attacking 7 is very normal, but moving through the left at turn 8, this is where we compromise. Do not attack it. We back off, keep towards the left hand side of the circuit, and as with the source, this short compromise is for a relatively large gain and better line through turn 9 and much greater speed down to turn 10. Tip number 3. Through turns 13 and 14, we can also gain a fair amount of time. We attack the entry of 13, but through the mid corner and exit, we don't push quite as hard. There's a bit of a theme here with compromise, but a little one here ensures a much better line through turn 14 and for the little straight down to turn 15. It doesn't seem much, but if you don't do this in certain cars, you could be costing yourself multiple tenths of a second. Spa used to be an absolute monster of a circuit. While it's still awesome, it's honestly really short compared to what it used to be. At the end of the Camel Strait, it used to go left instead of right, leading towards Malmody and the absolutely fearsome Master Kink and Stavolo. At 14.1 kilometers long, this was an extreme test for the drivers. Tip number four, the chicane, or as people used to call it, the bus stop. There are so many approaches here, late braking, compromise, late apex, but my very largest tip is to simply avoid the sausage curbs on both the right and the left. You'll need to practice to get as close to them as possible and not hit them. They're big enough that they'll lift your car, which will then cause you to lose traction and speed, causing loss of lap time. At least in my experience, the unpredictability and the unsettling of the car is not worth any tiny amounts of lap time you might gain. Thank you so much to my amazing patrons for helping to support my content. If you're interested in my content and want to help me make more, then please check out the link in the description.